<clears throat> Good afternoon. I am going to go over how to, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create a stem and leaf plot in a spreadsheet. Uh, the spreadsheet I'm going to be using today is going to be uh, Google, Google Spreadsheets. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Google account and open up my drive. And then um, I'm going to go to, you know, wherever I want to go and create a spreadsheet. So create a spreadsheet. And I've already created a spreadsheet. This is untitled, but I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, actually I don't want to work with that one. Let's do a new one here. Uh, create a, a new spreadsheet. And I'll call this uh, spreadsheet. I'll click up here and I'll call this um, just stem and leaf. So you can see what it looks like. Uh, I've got some data uh, to work with. And these are a population of cities in California. So here's the city and here's the population. I'm gonna make it look a little nice here. Put a little bottom border, underline. Little side border here. All right, so now we have, uh, we have my, my cities and this is my population, this is my data. And notice that th these populations are kind of large. Um, generally in a stem and leaf plot, we, don't, we only want to have one digit in our leaves. So, I think for these data, and these are these are, are cities with over 100,000 people. There are more, but these are the ones I chose to use. I think for these data, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, uh, round. You can round or truncate, leave this stuff off. It's not really going to make a difference in our statistics. So in this case, I'm going to round. So I'm just going to put another, another here, round. And I've rounded all of these. Um, I did search for a, a quicker way to round these and there really isn't too much of a quicker way I think I'd have to do more of like a, a More of a Google search on how to how to format these but I am gonna go and format these into a number So we can see them All right, so now I'm gonna make my stem and leaf plot and the way I'm gonna make my stem and leaf plot is I am going to let's do it right here I'm gonna first uh, uh, make these my stems on this column and then I'm going to make my leaves out this way. So it looks like I've got everything from 100,000. So I'm going to go one. And I'm going to make the star, those things that are like um, my second digit is a five or above. And then two. Star will be um, 225,000 and above, or 250,000 and above. Three star four star and then um, I've got to go all the way to nine I've got to get it all the way to ten and they have quite a gap here but you know we got to stay consistent on these eight star and nine star okay so I'm going to center these guys here. So center is here, horizontal alignment. So I'm going to center them. And if I double click on any um, column up here, right where it gives me a double arrow, uh, I'm going to double click and it'll automatically shrink it down this way. Now I want these to be, um, I want it to have a bar to separate on the right there. So I'll go and do that. Okay. So now we're going to make this uh, stem and leaf plot and we're going to put our data here. So let's see, we've got to look at the hundreds. I've got 100,000 here, so I'm going to go and put a zero. And I've got another one there, so I'm going to go to the next cell, put a zero. And I'm just going to highlight, the, I'm just going to make the ones that I already did red, so that way I know that I did them. So uh, there's red. Um, the next one's going to be 110. Okay, so there's a one right there. And then I see a 120 there, so I'm going to put a 2 here. Go and make that red. Uh, I see a 150. There's nothing else in here that I see there. So the 150 is going to have to go down here as a 5. Okay, because again, these are going to be the digits from 0 to 4. And then on this one, there's going to be the digits from 5 to 9. All right, so I did that one. Um, any twos? I got a 240 here and a 290 and a 210. Okay, so 210 goes first, then 240, and then 290 will go here. Right, so 
get that one out. Oh, I missed a 200. So let's go ahead and move these over one. And that's why I make them red here, so I make sure I don't miss any. I got this 210, and I got this 240. All right, let's go to the threes. Uh, we've got a 300 there, so we'll 300,000 there, so we'll put a zero there. And then we've got a 320 there, 320,000, so we'll put a two there. And then we've got a 340,000, so I'll put a four there. And I'll make these red, so I know that I already did them. And then I've got a 390 and a 350. Okay, so put a five there, nine here. Then I have a four nine, so nothing on this, but I do have a 470, so seven needs to go here, and I have a 490, so it'll go there. Make these red so I know that I did them. And then 800 would be here. Oops. And then uh, San Jose was 950, that'll be right here. Okay, so I got them all. All right, so now I want to make this a little bit closer. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna double click, I'm gonna double click, oops, double click, and double click. All right, then somewhere I have to put a key. So right here, I'm gonna put key. All right, and this side right here is gonna be, um, this side is gonna be city. And I'll go ahead and, uh, I'll go ahead and Align that to the left, and then over here is going to be population. Okay, just type it right there. All right, and then uh, the key. I got to have a key here, so I'm going to say that uh, uh, five. I'll put a bar there. So five bar um, four. It doesn't really matter what it is. Um, and I'm going to put a little. I got to put a little apostrophe. Otherwise, if I don't put a little apostrophe, it'll think the equal sign is like a function. So apostrophe equals will just put a little equal sign there, and that's going to mean 40, 540 thousand. Okay. So I wanted to tell it what it is. All right. So let me uh, double click those guys here. Okay. So I get that. All right, so now um, this looks kind of all messy with the grid line, so we're going to take away those grid lines, and we're going to go to uh, View and take away the grid lines. All right, so now we have our stem and leaf plot. All right, um, if you wanted to change this so that we didn't have the stars, you would have to move this. You just have to move everything up, right? <clears throat> um, so uh, we can do that right now if you want to see what that looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these grid lines back here. Let's see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to move this here as a five. Now I probably want to move the key over, so I'm going to Control X to move it. <clears throat> I'll move it over here. <clears throat> Skinny these up again, and then okay, so I'm going to move this five over here, and then delete this one. And I'm going to move these guys. So I'm going to Control Exit up here, control V, skinny this dude up. Um, I have a nine, so I'm gonna put the nine right there for the two, go ahead and get rid of these, control X this, move it up. I have a five and a nine, so put the five here, and a nine here, oops, right there, the next one here. Okay, so then I'll delete these guys. Um, I got to move the four up here, and then the seven and the nine. I'll move over here. I'm going to delete all this stuff. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got a zero here and a five here. We'll go and delete all this stuff here. Delete. I want to clear out that. Clear those out. Oh, we need a bar there. All right. Okay, so now we got that. Let's move the key over so it's closer. Control X. We'll move it over here. Control V. Double click. Double click. Double click. Double click. Oh, we're missing that double click. There we go. Now get rid of those grid lines. 
Bam! We got our stem and leaf plot. All right. So um, this is basically how you would do a stem and leaf plot in a spreadsheet. It works the same in Excel or in a a, a spreadsheet that you know has a a mobile spreadsheet. If you're going to do a back-to-back -back stem plot, then you're going to just put another line here, and you're going to do the same thing you did only backwards. You might want to move over here so it gives yourself some space. So uh, that's it, guys. A stem and leaf plot on a, a spreadsheet.